Las Vegas electricity bill hacks. And that's what we're talking about today. So let's roll. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And I'm Damien, Angela's sidekick. And today we're going to have 10 tips on how you can save big on your electric bill here in Las Vegas or anywhere in the country, but mostly Las Vegas, right? Saving money? Sounds good to me. Yep. Especially on electricity. Yes. Living in a desert city of Las Vegas comes with its perks, but managing energy costs in the scorching heat is a challenge many residents face. If you're looking to keep your electricity bills in check, we've compiled a list of practical tips to help you save money without sacrificing comfort. Ooh, don't want to be doing that. No. And number one on our list is you can upgrade your appliances to energy efficient models. Consider replacing old appliances with energy efficient ones. Look for the Energy Star label when shopping for new appliances, as they are designed to consume less energy, ultimately lowering your electricity usage. Yes, and you can keep the old ones in the garage. No, I'm just saying, because <laughs> then that won't help with the electricity. Like the refrigerator? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and number two is optimized lighting. Replace incandescent bulbs with LED bulbs which are more energy efficient and have a longer lifespan. Today's LEDs are the most energy efficient and rapidly developing lighting technology. Hmm. Yeah, it is. It's starting to see it more and more in places. Yeah. Did you know that LEDs use up to 90% less energy and last up to 25 times longer than the traditional incandescent lights. Whoa, yeah, that's so a big difference. Damien and I actually went the LED light route and we replaced all our old can lights for LED lights and added extra LED lights because one, we don't wanna keep on changing the light bulbs right? and we want them to last longer and also save on electricity. Mm -hmm. It's a great light too. It actually looks like daylight. Yes. Well, you have the option of changing it to usually three different tones, um, the highest daylight to warm and then really warm. You know what I mean? So a bonus on number two is it has flexibility of lighting color. Yes. And number three on our list is unplug electronics. Unplugging chargers, electronics, and appliances when they are not in use to prevent phantom energy consumption. On average, Las Vegas, Nevada residents spend about $310 per month on electricity, so that could potentially be over $30 a month in savings. Wow, that's good. And I never thought about it to unplug things that don't necessarily need to be plugged in. Yeah. If you don't use it often, mm -hmm. unplug it. It's yeah. a good tip. And number four, smart thermostats. Install a smart thermostat to better control your home's heating and cooling systems. Program it to optimize energy usage based on your schedule. Adjust your thermostat settings in the summer. Set your thermostat a few degrees higher when you're away or at night. In the winter, set it lower when you're not at home. And man, do I love my Nest thermostat. Yeah, while you're laying in bed, you can just do, 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 <laughs> just mess with it. Mess with it. I usually, in the summertime, I keep it at 78. Mm -hmm. um, and then in the winter time, we keep it at 70. Because, you know, we have fans throughout the house, too. Right. So that's probably going to be another energy-saving tip. But, um, yeah, I love having the smart thermostat for ease and control. And also to keep it, you can keep it set at 78 and if you lower it to say 76, it'll eventually go back up to 78 for mm -hmm. you without uh, just helping save on yeah. energy. Flexibility and timing, that's a great, great benefit. Yep. Which leads us actually to number five, which is seal, leaks, and insulate. Ensure that your home is well insulated to prevent heat loss in the winter and keep cool air in during the summer, especially in Las Vegas. Seal any gaps or cracks in windows and doors to minimize air leakage. Now the US Department of Energy estimates that air leaks alone cause about 25 to 40% of the heating and cooling load for any typical home. Now, obviously, if you have a brand new home, you don't really have to worry about that because most brand new homes are energy efficient and they come super tightly sealed. Yeah, and they even have a rating now too, yeah. right? And number six, buy energy efficient windows. 
if possible and cost permitting. Upgrade to energy efficient windows that can help regulate and maintain a consistent temperature inside your home. Energy efficient windows can help you save an average of 12% on your energy bill. Mm. So obviously again, new construction homes have the double pane, triple pane, low E windows, so you don't have to worry about it. But obviously homes that are 30 years old probably still have the original windows. So that is something that you may consider replacing. And that is something our home is over 30 years old. This next year, we are considering replacing our windows for energy efficiency. Yeah. And even have someone has like gas in between and things. And also mm -hmm. we're doing it for sound control too. Yes. Very important uh, part of it is now number seven on our list, Angela mentioned earlier, which is ceiling fans. Ceiling fans can help with flow, circulation, and distribute the air, making your home feel cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. Yes, and it is a must here in Las Vegas. Um, we have a ceiling fan in every room. Mm -hmm. And recently we went through a remodel, so we made sure like our living room, other any other bedrooms that didn't have ceiling fans had a ceiling fan. And we have it constantly running on low, especially in the summer because it helps circulate that electricity. And especially if you have two story homes, it helps keep the cool down instead of going up. Yes, and we have a lot of dry air in Las Vegas, and so it kind of gets kind of stale. And so having the air circulate keeps things a lot fresher as well, I would say. Yeah, good point. And number eight, wash clothes in cold water. Washing clothes in cold water can save a significant amount of energy compared to using hot water. About 90% of the energy the washing machine uses goes towards heating the water. Isn't that incredible? That Who knew it took that much energy yeah, just to eat the water? I'm the type of person that I don't feel like my clothes are cleaned unless I use hot water or uh, at least warm water. <laughs> ah, hence why they have actually that programmed into the machine. Yes, cold water is only for delicates, but actually I wash everything in warm water because I don't feel cold water is gonna get it clean. <laughs> Gotta kill that stuff, kill everything. Yep. Which leads us now to number nine on our list, which is solar panels. Take advantage of the abundant sunshine in Las Vegas by considering solar panels for your home. Many residents find that investing in solar energy not only reduces their electricity bill, but also contributes to a more sustainable lifestyle. Yes, and I think for the benefit of having solar panels, there's two benefits. One, if you buy a house that already has solar panels, or two, you need to stay in your home longer if you're financing or leasing it than five years to take advantage of those savings. Yeah, because you don't start realizing the gains until later on because it yep. costs, you know, initially, huh? Exactly. To create it, right. Now be sure when you're choosing a solar company that you get enough panels that way you do not have an electricity bill. If you are leasing or financing it, you will have a monthly payment on top of your electric bill if you don't have enough panels. Mm -hmm. um, if you do have enough panels, then you just will only have that monthly bill and you will only have a $13 electric bill from Nevada Energy for the hookup. It's like, they call it a connection charge. Yep. Very, very simple. And then really you realize your gains in the summertime then at yes, that point, right? Exactly. And number 10 is regular HVAC maintenance. Ensure your heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems is well maintained. Regular cleaning and changing of filters can improve efficiency and extend the lifespan of your system. Now, I think this is actually really important to consider is maintenance. Think about how much you could save just by having routine maintenance on certain things. I think this is a very valuable lesson that we all should learn here on this one. Yeah, definitely, especially, you know, do it once a year, uh, maybe right in January, so you can remember when to do your maintenance. But actually I would do it in maybe spring because then that way they can still test the heating and cooling. There it is, that's a great idea. Um, because if you do it in January, typically they won't run the AC. Mm -hmm. And so, you don't want to do it in summer because they're going to be booked. And Well, they won't be able to do the heating too, <laughs> right. so yeah. Managing your electric bill in Las Vegas is about adapting smart practices that optimize energy usage without sacrificing comfort. By implementing these tips, you can keep your home cool and your bills in check, ensuring a more cost-effective and energy-efficient living experience in this desert city. So a lot of people want to know how much does the electric bill cost? Now, another tip that we didn't bring up is actually having a newer AC unit. Mm -hmm. Not just maintenance, but also having a newer unit. Our home was built in 1992, so I think one of the units is newer and one of the units is original. And I bet you if we had two new units, our 
electric bill would be a lot less than what it is. Our home is around 3,300 square feet. And in the summertime, our electric bills are around five, $600, even at a 78 degree temperature yes. set. Yes, um, yes, Because pricey. of the older home, the less energy efficiency. So if you follow these tips, like insulate the cracks, newer windows, ceiling fans, you will reduce your energy costs mm -hmm. tremendously. And not only electricity, but gas here in Vegas has gotten quite expensive. So these tips will also help with your gas bill in the winter times. Right, right. And environmentally and things too, you hear about the, your carbon footprints, you hear about these kind of words as well. This is another aspect of reducing that carbon footprint. Yeah. So let us know in the comments if we've missed any energy saving tips here in Las Vegas or across the United States. I'm sure there are things that we may have missed, but we thought these were our top 10, right? Yes. The most effective ways to save some money, honey. Oh yeah, keep that in my pocket. All right, folks, make sure, most importantly, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel Help me out with this YouTube algorithm because we also like to talk a lot about Las Vegas, not only about living in Las Vegas, but also about Las Vegas neighborhoods. Thank you guys so much for watching and we can't wait to see you on the next one.